I chose GCU's education program for so many different reasons. I loved how involved they were in the classroom, in like schools, as well as in our college classrooms. I felt like the professors and the small class ratios made it so familiar to what I was used to in high school, as well as just the choice of student teaching that I could go anywhere I wanted. I think GCU did a really great job at preparing me for all aspects of a classroom, so like private school, Christian school, charter school, all of them. I just hope that when I enter the classroom, I'm able to shine a light. I want to be a light of Christ through my actions. I plan on working in a public school. I just feel like that's where I need to be. The feeling of knowing that no matter what I do, I'm going to have an impact is surreal. Some of the things that we thought about or I thought about as a parent when Krista, my daughter, was deciding to come to GCU and we were looking at different options, GCU just stood out. The campus, I felt, was the safest and offered the most opportunities for her and it really did. She was able to be involved in so many things and I feel like it all came together. It was really important to us that she had a well-rounded education and GCU provided all of that. My name is Rebecca Wayne. I teach third grade at Paradise Honors Elementary School and it is my first year teaching. I realized that I really just wanted to help kids. And as soon as I stepped foot in the classroom and seeing that one light bulb moment with a kiddo go off, that's when I knew that teaching would be my field. All right, I just got done with Meet the Teacher. It went amazing. My kiddos were so sweet. They were so, 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 so excited for third grade. My parents are awesome. The next time I see my room, we'll be on the first day of school. So wish me luck. Today was our fun run. And let me tell you guys, when I got to school this morning, I was exhausted and honestly I was a little just tired and really not wanting to come to work today. You know it's kind of hard to reach every kiddo and I feel like just coming back from fall break it's been a hard challenge trying to make sure that I'm reaching every kiddo and I'm there for every kiddo. I had a couple of kiddos come up to me and you know and they say you're the best teacher ever. It, I feel like sometimes it gets overlooked but today I like sat with that and I was like wow like you're right like sometimes you know, I feel like I'm not doing enough, but at the end of the day, like I'm running laughs with them and it kind of validated that teaching is so much more than just teaching them the basics. Like I was cheering them on and I felt like I did my job as a good teacher today. George has grown this year. Character wise, I would say he's more outgoing and loves to be here. He's not as nervous. He's excited to come to school. I think Becca makes it very fun for the kids. So it's not as uptight and intimidating. I am going to come back and visit with Miss Wayne because she was an amazing teacher this year. I'll really miss her when I go up to fourth grade. I want to thank Becca for sticking through her first year, helping George the best that she could, and all of the kids. I know all the kids love to be here, they're excited to be here, and she made it a great first year. I keep in touch with many of my former students who are now out in the field, teaching in classrooms locally and around the country comes full circle because I even place many of my current students with them to learn from our alumni. My proudest accomplishment as a teacher has been just the relationships that I've built with students. As they've grown older, it's just been a joy to watch them flourish as they go through school, as they graduate from college and are in their own classrooms. 